Hello my friends, this is Jeannie. Welcome back. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I want to share with you a purchase that I made from a new company, at least new to me. I made this purchase from Artisair. I learned about Artisair from my Instagram feed. And also the fact that they are on my Instagram feed is proof positive that my phone spies on me because I have been recently complaining about <laughs> how I really want a different method for using wax and wax stamps. I love wax stamps. I love wax seals, but I don't like the flame. It makes me very nervous. And I've been complaining to my husband about it. And of course, you know, my house being plugged into technology the way it is, I'm sure some device in this house <laughs> picked up on my lamenting and boom, all of a sudden on my Instagram feed, I'm getting all sorts of advertisements for different companies that deal with wax seals, wax, and different methods of application. This one intrigued me the most. And so I made a purchase, it arrived. This is not sponsored, totally my money. And uh, we'll, I thought we would open it together. What I loved about this company was that they also allowed you to select some samples of the different um, wax colors that they have. So in addition to the purchase that I made, I ordered and they sent to me for free some samples of the different color waxes that they have because sometimes we know colors don't translate well on a screen and I wanted to see it in purpose in person I wanted to see it in person gosh I'm at a loss for words today my friends I'm sorry so let's see what they sent here the packaging my god look how gorgeous gorgeous so first impression love 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 I've had this box sitting around for a little bit and I just was waiting for the chance to open it with you and I'm glad I'm finally able to do that because I've been really curious on the items in here. That's pretty. I saved that. Wow, that's very flexible wax. Do you see that? It's not stiff at all. If the wax I ordered from them is anything like that, I'm going to be super happy. So here's their card, where Artistry Loves Company. That's pretty cool. Love that. These are the samples that I ordered. So what I ended up purchasing from them is um, what I'm going to describe as a um, hot glue gun. It's not for hot glue. It's intended to be used with their wax and their wax sticks are specifically shaped to fit in this gun. But if this application works for me, it's a game changer because I don't have to worry about flames in my craft room, which is a room filled with paper. Oh boy. Yeah. Flames make me nervous. So if this application this gun and these sticks give me the results they claim, then it's a game changer for me. But anyway, here are some of the colors, um, samples that I requested from them. Let's see, does this, this is, oh yeah, it does have the color. Here's the rose gold. That is beautiful, but it's not really rosy. Interesting. See, I'm glad I got the sample because I think it's more, more like a brownish color than really a rosy color. I don't think that's very rosy at all. <laughs> it's beautiful. I don't think that's, that's rosy at all. It's a beautiful color. This one is antique gold. Check that out. That's pretty cool. That is beautiful. This is the one that I was really interested in. It's called Time, and it is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Navy blue. That's really pretty, too. That is a true blue for sure. Gorgeous. And I love that their wax is really flexible. And this is carbon. 
another gorgeous color. Wow, really pretty. So let's look here. These are the wax sticks. I got the color lavender. I don't know. That is so pretty. Really pretty color. Really nice color. Gosh, if this if this gun, this heat tool uh, does what I think it will do, then I'm going to take the other wax sticks that I have from other companies, the more traditional ones, the square shaped ones, and I swear I will shave them down <laughs> more to the shape and see if I can use them with this with this heat tool because wow. This one's called Sequoia. Is that how you pronounce that word? S-E-Q-U-O-I-A. The color is gorgeous. And this one is Vintage Rose. Now that I have these three colors and now that I see those samples, I'm definitely going to be purchasing other colors from them. And here is the heat gun for the wax sticks. And now you can clearly see when I say that uh, this looks exactly like what we use for, <laughs> for um, our glue, our hot glue sticks. Yeah, let's see. Let's plug this in and do a little stamping and see how this works. Okay, friends, so I am set to go here. <laughs> I laid down a heat resistant mat. On top of the heat resistant mat, I put this baking sheet. It is non-stick, so I'm going to stamp directly onto the mat for my particular uh, test. I think I'm going to start with the color lavender just because it's such a pretty color. I recently received some wax heads, some stamping heads, wax stamping heads. They, 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 they will get a separate unboxing video showing them in more detail, so I'm not going to talk too much about them here. If you're interested in learning more about these particular um, designs, once you do see them, be sure to be on the lookout for that video. Okay, so looking at this, it definitely looks and operates very much like the gun that we use for our hot glue sticks. This is low temp. I don't know if the temp they use for this particular gun is different than the temperature settings that... Um, the guns for the hot glue sticks are set. I know most guns, the hot glue guns, have a low and a high setting, but I don't know if their low is the same as this low. So it might be a good idea, I guess, to have um, a tool specifically for wax sticks, just in case it's a different temperature setting. Also, the more I thought about it, <laughs> You're using color sticks for this particular tool. I don't know that you would necessarily want to use the same tool um, for your color wax sticks and your clear hot glue sticks. It, it, there might be some cross contamination there with some results you might not like. So, and I don't know if hot glue and wax play well together. So you might just clog up your um, tool by interchanging both. Are we ready? Oh, I hear it. Oh, that's coming out really smooth.
Wow, that was super easy. Perfect shape. Oh my goodness, guys, that was smooth. The gun does come with, you know, the little kickstand, so that's pretty cool. I'll give that a few minutes. Wow. If this works, I'm going to be so excited. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is gorgeous. Beautiful. I have some antique gold wax paste here. Maybe what I'll do. That is so pretty. I love that. That stamped beautifully, beautifully. Okay, let's try another. I'm just gonna pour out some of this um, gold paint off in the corner here because I like the Gilder's wax paste, but that gold that I have is not a super bright gold and I want something that's gonna pop a little bit more. So, Yeah, definitely pops more. It's a little brighter. Love that. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to the side. Let's do more stamping. This is a witchy hat with a broom and a crescent moon. I'm thinking I probably, in terms of the size or the shape here, I guess I'll just do... Maybe something a little on the longer side. Might have put a little too much for that one, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm a little heavy handed with the, uh, the, 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 the wax, but that comes with practice. What I am seeing that I don't know how I feel about yet is that I guess because of the, the way the wax stick feeds into the gun, it does create some tiny little air bubbles when it pumps out. I don't know how to feel about that. And again, I don't know if that's a, a me thing. I just have to improve my technique. I suspect that's what it is, but I won't know until I play with this a little bit more. That's beautiful. Definitely you can notice the air bubbles in this one. So I think I'm going to try to stamp this out one more time. You see the air bubbles? I don't know how to feel about that. The stamp itself is gorgeous. And I don't think I'm giving it enough time to set. So I'm going to try that one one more time. And I think instead of 
All right, so that's two pumps. Better. This is big time improved. So it's definitely, I think, all about skill. Practice, practice, practice. We're gonna leave that one there to set. And I really wanna try this huge one. This one is a moon. Kinda of has like a dream catcher vibe, but instead of a hoop, you have a crescent moon and a star hanging from the crescent moon. So let's see how this one stamps. She is big, so I don't know if I'm gonna get it all. I don't think I did. <laughs> How do you get these bigger ones to stamp completely? You would have to make a longer puddle. I think your puddle should of wax should probably be, be more oblong in shape. Yeah, that peeled off much easier. It's really pretty, but you see the air bubbles right there? I don't see any air bubbles in this one. Or I take that back. I don't see as many air bubbles. I see some. For sure. I see one there. This wax. See I just touched it. It's definitely. <clears throat> not. It doesn't have the same feel or the same texture as the other wax uh, beads and sticks that I use. This one has more of a rubbery quality to it, which explains why this is as flexible as it is. So definitely a little different. Oh, wow. I actually got the whole image. That looks amazing. I'm going to let that set for a little bit and try to stamp it one more time. I'm going to try it a little different this time. I'm going to try... Oh, boy. This is one big experiment and you get to experiment with me. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has le less of a waxy vibe and more of a rubbery vibe. And I'm not mad about that. I actually like that idea because with rigid wax, your use of the seals is somewhat limited because they're fragile. They snap, right? If this rubber like flexibility, I mean, with this rubber like flexibility, you can use these as dangles. You can make pins out of these. So many more uses. Let's see. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Happy accident. I had no idea. That's what the. the what, <laughs> I just had no idea. All right, let's see. 
how did we do here? Did we do better or did we do worse? Okay, that's pretty cool. Obviously missed some of it, but let me highlight this one so that you can see. Just how pretty this, look how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Pretty. Now maybe that one I didn't put enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's one big experiment and you get to experiment with me alright so we tried the witchy hat we tried the gnome we have this one that says happy mail on it I thought that was kind of cool and this one is also another witchy one it's a, a crescent moon with broom and some bats so Bingo. I think that's the method of application for me. Let's try, instead of gold on this one, let's try some black. Mm, do I want to try black? Mm, no, I don't. <laughs> I want to do the gold again. Oh, this is so pretty. You guys, I have to say I'm happy. I'm very happy. I'm happy. Very happy with the consistency of this. And I'm going to say wax in quotes. <laughs> Throw up some air quotes. I'm very happy with this. This is so beautiful. The quality is good. Love the flexibility. It is awesome. And I am noticing I'm getting less bubbles. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of it. So pretty. Let's put a little bit of gold on the side there too. This one's so pretty too. Oh, wow, 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 wow. She is pretty. Let's try a different color. Let's try this vintage rose one. She's pretty. Let's try her. I guess I have to get through the purple first, though, right? definitely gonna have to get through the purple before I can get to that oh yes much better That is beautiful as I fling it across the table. <laughs> I'll set that there to dry. I think I'm going to get all of my wax heads out and play with all of them because they are all 
I'm loving the way all of this is looking. Let's try the um, Happy Meal one. So some of the limitations I would say in using this method of melting the wax for your seals is that you cannot do any type of marbling effect. So if you like to mix your colors and do like an ombre or marbling type effect, you're not going to accomplish that with this tool because it's one, you know, one stick, one color at a time, unless you get, I didn't even think to look, I didn't see anything, but really I wasn't looking to see if they have like marbly type wax sticks that you can purchase. If they don't, I would say that's one limitation, unless you have two guns and you really want to be like pew pew, <laughs> you know, mixing it that way, but I'm not investing in another one of these. I don't remember this being um, particularly expensive, but I'm sure it's more expensive than just going out and buying a, a you know, hot glue gun. Um, so I would say that's one limitation. I would put that on the negative side. And so far, I think that's the only thing I would put on the negative side. Maybe I would also put that you have to basically clear one color through before you can start the next one. So it's not as easy to change colors on the fly. Maybe that's a negative, I don't know. It doesn't bother me, I don't care. But I guess that could be a negative. On the plus side, um, I mean, no flame. Super easy to control the flow. And the they work beautifully. I am so, so happy with this purchase. I don't regret it at all, at all. I'm gonna let that set a little bit more before I try to peel it off my mat. Wow, I am going to continue to play with this because it is just so much fun. So I think that's my share, my friends. But I, I hope you found this useful. Um, I hope you're feeling inspired. And I hope you will come back and visit me again. I will catch you all in the next video, my friends. Until next time, bye-bye.